Welcome to the EPIC SEM Virtual Lab Tour. The EPIC SEM labs are located in the AB Wing and the J Wing of the Technological Institute at Northwestern. The EPIC SEM lab houses nuances scanning electron microscopes and SEM sample preparation equipment. When you enter the AB Wing on the first floor, the first instrument that you'll see is the Hitachi S3400N. This SEM is our main teaching microscope and makes an appearance in many MSE courses. It has a large specimen chamber to fit large samples and wafers. It is great for imaging larger samples and features down to about 0.5 microns. The 3400 has an SE detector along with a BSE detector for compositional contrast imaging. This microscope, along with many of our other SEMs, is equipped with an energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy system, or EDS, which allows you to perform elemental analysis as well as elemental mapping. This microscope also has a WDS system, or wavelength dispersive X-ray spectroscopy system. With this system, you can do compositional analysis down to 0.01 weight percent. It is also equipped with a variable pressure mode, a technique that allows you to image uncoated, non-conductive samples without charging artifacts. This introduces air or gas into the chamber to create positively charged gas ions to neutralize negative charge buildup on the surface of the sample. Most of the other SEMs in the EPIC lab are located on the ground floor of the AB wing. The first microscope you'll see on the ground floor is the FEI Quanta 650F SEM. The Quanta can perform a number of advanced SEM techniques. It is equipped with a dedicated backscattered electron detector, an EBSD detector, and an EDS detector. The Quanta allows you to scan an SE image and a backscattered electron image simultaneously. This SEM also has low vacuum mode for imaging non-conductive samples and an electron beam lithography system. EBL is a technique used to create microelectrical devices by scanning the focused electron beam in a pattern to create custom shapes in a substrate coated with an electron sensitive film. The EPIC lab also has a metal evaporator that can be used as part of this process. The Quanta also has an electron backscatter diffraction detector or EBSD detector. This detector gives you crystallographic information about the microstructures in the sample. And finally, this SEM has a Peltier cooling stage, which allows you to cool your sample down to 10 degrees C. With water vapor present in the chamber, this allows you to condense water on the surface of your sample. Further down the hall from the Quanta is the Hitachi SU8030 and S4800 field emission gun SEMs. These are two of the highest resolution SEMs that we have in the lab. These two microscopes can resolve down to one nanometer at 15 kV. Unlike the previous SEMs we saw, this SEM is equipped with an upper and lens detector for ultra high resolution imaging, as well as the traditional lower detector for topographical imaging. The SU8030 also has a dedicated stem detector for low kV bright field stem imaging and an EDS detector. The last SEM on this tour can be found on the ground floor of the J-Wing this is the JOL 7900 FLV, the newest high resolution microscope in the lab. Like all of the other SEMs, this also has a lower detector. This is great for highly topographic samples. It also has an in lens or upper detector with an energy grid filter, which allows you to filter out SE and backscattered electrons. It has a dedicated backscattered electron detector and a low vacuum backscatter detector for low vacuum operations. This microscope also has gentle beam mode for beam decelerations up to 2 kV and a stem holder for bright field stem imaging using the lower detector. The 7900 has an EDS detector with Oxford's Aztec Live, which allows live elemental mapping as you move around your sample. At the end of the hall in AB wing are the two focused ion beam microscopes. This is the FEI Helios Nanolab SEM and FIB. It has a high resolution SEM column as well as a high resolution gallium sourced focus ion beam column. The Helios FIB is mostly used for preparing TEM samples as well as atom probe tomography samples. The Helios has five gas injection systems for etching and deposition, as well as an Omniprobe Autoprobe for nano manipulation. Other accessories on this microscope include the Wraith Ion Beam Lithography System and the Kleinbeak Nano Manipulation System. It also has Slice and View for 3D tomography and a dedicated stem detector. This is the JOL JIB 4700F Multi Beam System. 
This is the newest microscope in the EPIC lab. Like the Helios, this has a gallium sourced ion beam, as well as a Schottky emission electron gun. It can perform TEM and atom probe sample preparation. It includes a gas injection system, which can deposit platinum or carbon. It has an EBSD detector, an EDS detector, and a high stability Oxford Omniprobe 400. The new Oxford Symmetry CMOS EVSD detector can operate at over 3,000 index patterns per second. This instrument can also perform 3D EVSD, which is a new technique in the EPIC facility. All of the EPIC SEM lab sample preparation equipment can also be found on the ground floor of AB. In this lab, there is an optical microscope, an osmium coater and a sputter coater for adding a conductive layer to an unconductive SEM sample, and a spin coater dedicated for depositing resist for the EBL process. To learn more about the EPIC SEM lab, visit our website at www.nuance.northwestern.edu. Click on the EPIC page to learn more about the instruments found in EPIC and contact information for EPIC staff. Thank you for watching this virtual tour. Please feel free to reach out to EPIC staff if you have any questions about any piece of instrumentation in the EPIC SEM lab.